<sighs> well, this is a bit awkward, isn't it? So right now it is currently uh, November 14th, which is about three days since the Splatoon 3 Amiibo release. And so therefore, today I'm going to be unboxing them. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'll just give a quick rundown as to why this isn't coming out on the actual release day. Uh, I ordered my Amiibos through Target because the Target was like, hey, you know, we got the Amiibos in stock. And then I order them. The order is fulfilled, but what's this? An email. And it says that a certain small fries like, order got canceled. Shit. And it's like, oh, well, no biggie. I mean, I could just go to the other stores, except I went to the other stores, did not have it. So instead, uh, I had to order it online because thankfully, thankfully, Papa Bezos decided to have the small fry amiibo available on the Amazon website and it had it available with Prime shipping. Thankfully, I'm a student, so therefore my Prime, my Prime account actually got usage for once. So I ordered it and uh, yeah, though I do have to knock it down a few points. Um, this, like, I ordered this with two-day shipping, and it's day three, so better get on that. Ugh. Oh, and here's the other two amiibo, just to prove a point that I actually got them. We aren't in the clear yet. I haven't unboxed this yet. This could very much contain the small fry amiibo, or I may have gotten bamboozled with a not small fry amiibo. So, I'm just gonna very quickly... All right, moment of truth. Did we get the small fry? Oh, thank God we did. Yes. <laughs> Listen, I've been blue balled for the past however many days for going ahead and unboxing these. I'm not going to cut any chase. Let's just get straight to it. Except one tiny thing. This right here is my phone, right? Normally I use this to record me opening them, but you might be wondering well, how, how, how can you record me if this is recording this? Uh, simple reason, actually. You see, I own an iPad. I figured why not go ahead and just spice things up instead of doing the same old, you know, straight on camera where it's like, oh, look at this. It's a, we'll, we'll, we'll open this right here. Instead, I'm just gonna do it like this way because sometimes I wanna show my face. Sometimes I wanna go ahead and be able to react because reasons, I, I don't know. What do you want from me? Anyways, though, that's about it. Uh, real quick, though, before we get started, I'm just going to quickly get the thumbnail shot because that's important. And then we'll go ahead and get started. So just give me one quick minute. So starting things off, I think I'll start off with the one I'm actually maybe the, uh, well, the, the, the least excited for, which is the Yellow Weakling Girl. Um, I mean, it looks good. Don't get me wrong. These do look really good. Like. For some reason, all the recent Amiibos have at least all looked either good or, like, incredible. And, yeah, this one's good. I mean, it looks nice. I like the color scheme of it. Here's the box. Um, it's just, I like the other two more than Yellow Inkling Girl, but that's a personal opinion, all right? Anyways, though, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know how obvious it is, at least to the camera, but for some reason, maybe it's just the fact that I'm filming this at night and I have to use shitty lighting or whatever. Um... The Amiibo's very tan, which is very strange compared to the render on it. Again, maybe my lighting is just weird. Maybe it's actually a lot brighter, but it doesn't look bad, though. Um, I will admit, though, it is kind of funny. If you look here, you can actually tell that the hair is two separate pieces for the ponytail. I don't know, just a fun little thing. Meh, yeah, you. I know what you guys want. Ugh. All right, so cracking it open, here it is, and yeah, you can definitely tell. It's really funny. Recently, I've nearly completed my entire uh, Splatoon Amiibo collection, like including the ones we got here. I just need to get those stupid Splatoon 1 Wii 2 Amiibo, and that's about it. But it's really funny because you can tell that, man, they have really come a long way making them. Like, there is significantly more detail on this Amiibo than you know, the Splatoon 1 amiibo where they, you could tell they were like, uh, is this game gonna be successful? I don't know, just don't put much effort into the amiibo and just see if they like the game. And look where we're at now. But yeah, this is definitely a very sick looking amiibo, like, 
like the yellow is just really good on it like i like how poppy the yellow is it's not like a very saturated yellow so i don't know what else i really can say about this one i mean it's just good is it my favorite of these three no but in terms of like the regular splatoon amiibo yeah this is definitely at least definitely one of my favorites of the splatoon line amiibo um Speaking of compare, speaking of the Splatoon 1 amiibo, why don't we compare this one to the Inkling Girl? And yeah, you can definitely tell they really went ham on trying to go ahead and add more detail to yellow. I'll call her yellow. I mean, I will admit though, maybe a big part of that is the fact that this one cost me $13 and this one cost me $16. So you would hope that the that three dollar increase actually went somewhere and it did but yeah you can definitely i'm it is really impressive just seeing how much the amiibo improved over the years but yeah overall really good start so i'll just go ahead and put these two off to the side for now and move on to the amiibo that i honestly say i've been the most excited for overall which is the octoling boy wait yeah okay the Octoling Boy. I mean, if you, in case you were wondering why I've been kind of excited about this one and maybe not yellow or whatever, simple reason, holy fuck, this guy is cool. Yeah, I don't know what it is about Splatoon, but oh my god, the fashion in that game is so god damn crazy. And like, I feel like this is just a perfect representation of that. Like, he's just cool. Like, look at him. He's wearing his, like, collared shirt. I have a very low standard of what I consider cool, all right? But yeah, definitely. And also, I just really like the blue, the very dark blue near purple. But yeah, all right. Uh, here's the backside because some people care about that. I don't because I like to just do the following. What? So anyways, here it is outside of the packaging. And yeah, you can definitely tell that, like, God, this looks so cool. Like, I don't know, the posing of it looks really nice. I definitely like the way the hair, tentacle, whatever looks. The shirt's fucking cool. The, like, uh, don't at me. And, uh, yeah. You know, it's really hard to describe Amiibos because after a while, it's either I like them or I don't. In, a, in this case, I like them, but yeah, overall, this is definitely really sick looking. <laughs> but yeah, and I guess for this one, I'll go ahead and compare this one as opposed to Inkling Girl, the uh, Inkling Boy, except of course this is an Octoling te technically. <clears throat> I mean, you could definitely tell there's some effort to pose, but I feel like for some reason, I like the posing of this one more. I just feel like it conveys a lot more than just, oh, look at me, I'm cool, I'm holding a gun. In this case, you just think to yourself, God, he's cool. Again, I have a really low standard of cool, but maybe in this instance, I'm right for once. I don't know. But yeah, that's uh, that's uh, Octoling Boy. Alright, now moving on to the final one, which is probably the amiibo that I've been... What's the right word for it? Not getting most excited for, because, <laughs> god, I've been getting really annoyed by this one, actually. But it's definitely the one that I think is the most interesting out of this wave of amiibo, which is... The Small Fry. Now... I feel like this is the one that most people were excited for when they announced these amiibo because, I mean, it's the small fry. It's a lot more interesting than just Octo, like Octoling Octopus or Inkling Squid, but... And I can definitely tell why, and also, it just looks really nice, like... I don't know, I'm just gonna crack into this one real quick. Yeah. One moment. Can't you tell how excited I was to go ahead and get this guy out of the packaging? I nearly threw him all the way across the room. But no, seriously though, uh, yeah, I could definitely tell why this has been the most anticipated one amongst all these. Like, Jesus, I don't want to imagine how much of a pain in the ass it was for the creators of this amiibo to go ahead and sculpt the uh, ink to this one because, god damn, god, Jesus, like. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, you got the small fry, the ink, what I assume are the egg, uh, row, whatevers. Um, yeah, this one is really nice looking. Like, would I personally say that, hold on, would I personally say that, uh, this one is my favorite compared to this one? No, but I can definitely see why someone would say that this is their favorite, because everything's just really on point with this, sculpted well, 
the colors, interesting choice of a character to where you're not like, well, of course you're gonna add in another Inkling girl. Again, don't hate that one. I'm just proving a point here. I've been really content with Amiibo recently because guess what? Ever since they decided to increase their price of Amiibo from $12.99 to $16.99 or $15.99, they've just been good. What can I say? And of course, I think you can assume I'm gonna compare this one actually to the Inkling uh, from the first wave just because again, it's fun to compare like where it started to where it is now but yeah you can def i feel like this is like the best interpretation of how like crazy things went like look at this ink for a minute looks kind of matty it's a bit whatever it's like typical plasticky and then you get this one where it's like a nice firm plastic but it has a nice shine to it is this like what it's like to go from like one of those anime figurines that's made out of like cheap plastic to like resin because i feel like this is kind of what's like comparing these two but yeah you can definitely see the way that a lot of the amiibo have changed over the years and yeah it's, a, it's been pretty funny to see because i think you can tell with nintendo like with the splatoon one amiibo you know this is a new ip it, it could be popular but it could also fail let's just make a couple amiibo because it you know the, the amiibo craze is happening let's just put this out there oh my god these like they're selling well and splatoon is selling well B boom Boom. Anyways, though, uh, yeah, that's kind of it, honestly. Like, I don't think I have much more else to say right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and lay them out across the table. And so here they all are, sitting next to each other. And for the fun of it, well, I'm going to go ahead and just put down you, you, and you, just for, uh, well, comparison's sake. Now, I think it's very obvious what I think about these Amiibo. They're really damn good. Like, genuinely. Like, not joking here not doing my weird sarcastic thing. These are genuinely some of like the best Splatoon Amiibos you can pretty much get right now. And honestly, if you're even considering getting them, I do recommend getting them because, fun fact about Splatoon Amiibo, they like to rise in value. Like the whole reason why I was able to actually nearly complete my Splatoon Amiibo collection is not because, uh, you know, oh, they're easily readily, like actually, no, that's the whole reason why, because they re-released them. Had they not re-released, yeah, I would still be on like, the, these three but yeah overall i think that's about it uh don't know what else to say thanks for being patient with this video because <laughs> trust me i'm a little annoyed still but yeah water under a bridge i guess with target i hope you all like subscribe leave a comment down below until next time my friends Ooh. bye